I don't think you can go in any buildings. We can just kind of drive around. How are we supposed to see? We're just looking through the windows and stuff. Just look, man. Okay, you guys. This is Central State Hospital. Oh, look at that. We'll come back to that one good time. Okay. And this used to be, this was started in 1842, and it used to be, when it was originally started, it was called the Georgia State Lunatic, Idiot, and Epileptic Asylum. <laughs> And then it later became, later was called the Georgia, or the Millersville State Hospital, or the Georgia State Sanitarium. Was it for idiots only? Well, and epileptics and lunatics. Or epileptics and a lunatic. <laughs> like, well, it was pretty much for pe they, people that they thought were crazy. So it was Disabled, yeah. an insane asylum. Well, this whole this whole campus was. You know what? It used to be the largest in the world at one point. It was the yeah the biggest insane asylum or uh, mental hospital in the whole world. Was it a hospital for idiots? Yeah. And the lunatics. And idiots, lunatics, and epileptics. What are lunatics and epileptics? Uh, do, well, that's was. Well, epilepsy is just a what they called people that were sick back in in the 1800s. Well, I mean, it's not much different to, like, people that had Down syndrome and um, that were autistic, that were... Well, epilepsy is where you don't have any control and you start kind of, like, doing a shake. Yeah, epilepsy is a, a nerve disorder, I think. Yeah. But they didn't know as much back then as we do now, yeah. so they just called them idiots and... Lunatics. The idiot, come here. <laughs> I need to it fix my so thing. Rude. It's about to come off. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, today it's not politically correct. The Georgia Lunatic Asylum. Now. Now Central State Hospital was the fifth oldest institution exclusively for the insane in the South and 14th in the nation. It took care of the afflicted paupers in Georgia as well as board and medical care, as well as others from Georgia and elsewhere who could pay $100 a year to cover clothing, room and board and medical care. Some people say this uh, whole area is haunted still. You want to have a ghost friend? Yeah. Well, keep your spirit open and maybe somebody will join you while we're here. Huh? A ghost? Maybe a ghosty? A lunatic? I want a lunatic. I don't want an idiot, a lunatic, or whatever else. A ghost. I want a smart ghost. You could be friends with a psycho. You don't want a, an idiot or a lunatic to be your ghost friend? No. What about an epileptic? No. Oh. I want a smart, intelligent ghost friend. Well? Smart and intelligent ghost Keep your eyes peeled for ghosts. The windows are boarded and so are the doors. I never stopped any ghosts. Why are you supposed to see them passing through the windows? I don't know, Nan. I'm not a ghost expert. Ghosts are invisible, Dad. You can't see them. Hmm. How do you find a ghost if they're invisible? Right? Uh-huh. Sunny. 
L. M. Jones Building, 1928. Until this thing is unstable. Here's a trunk that has fallen off. Look at these. This is so cool. Look at the detail in these columns and stuff, you guys. Pillars? You know, yeah. before that, it was like the wineries, some guy's home, and then they built all these buildings. Really? What's any? We like tried to get into there. Are you sure? I saw all that spooky stuff. Are you sure it wasn't somebody trying to get out? Why would somebody be trying to get out? Because they're in a lunatic asylum? Yikes! There's some lunatics in there. I thought I did. I just see stairs. Yeah, that looks newer, but it doesn't look like it's in use. This must be like all the physical plants and stuff down here. Oh, look at that over there. No, I don't think it's a gold mine. Let's go this way, see what this is. Um, it must be where they did a, uh, must have been the power plant for this place. Because yeah, it was like, it was big enough, it was like a city in its own self. I mean, we had 6,000 employees and housed them all and... Yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine that's the power plant, coal, coal power plant, where they burn coal to make electricity for this place. Oh, yeah? So we're in yeah. Chapel, an old chapel for the prison or something, it looks like. 
looks like chapel. That? Like a church. Do you get fed in jails or prisons? Yeah, they, you get fed. Probably nothing, nothing very good. But, well, I don't, I don't know exactly what you get fed. Yeah, Stale bread and moldy cheese. Yeah, maybe. But you're such a, no, they eat. I think they eat pretty good. visitors. I think that's where they had their conjugal visits. Because this is more of a recent, this sort of memorialization and those, all those markers over there. And this bronze angel. That's pretty, huh? So they put up that angel in the year 2000 and put up these markers behind me here to celebrate and recognize the 25 or so thousand patients that were buried here. 30, 25 to 30,000 patients that were buried here over the 150 years that this hospital was in operation. So. It's nice that they made some sort of effort to recognize all those people that sort of went unnamed or unrecognized for so long. So it's kind of uh, kind of humbling, isn't it, babe? Some of those graves are a couple hundred years old. Yeah, it's sad. It's really sad, but it's also cool that they finally, you know. Yeah. Recognize it a little bit. These are the un, un, uh, ones. Yeah. They're all over the place. There's sections. Yeah. Like there's uh, African American and different ethnicities. They have scattered. Two thousand six hundred forty-one. Yeah. 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 These are the ones that didn't have grave sites. Well, that was a fun trip back in time. It's a little bit, um, a little bit uh, kind of sad thinking about what happened in those buildings, and the cemetery was kind of a little sad. But it's fun to experience the whole thing and see it. Scary and sad. Scary and sad. Yeah. I'm tired. Um, and I just want to say real quick, we did not mean to make light of any sort of mental condition or anything um anything at all like that it was just of the lexicon lexicon of the day of the idiot and lunatic asylum was the name was literally the name of it so just a little funny thing that's literally what they called it in the 1800s when it was opened and a serious thing we weren't when it was we weren't poking fun of anything or anybody so just wanted to note that just a heads up just a heads up but it was fun to see. We didn't see any ghosts or goblins or spirits, did we? No? Did you see a ghost, babe? Yeah. You saw a ghost? Sandy's inside of me right now. Sandy? Yeah, what's her name? Yikes. What is she telling you to do? To go take get some vitamins. <laughs> what? Uh, I forgot. Okay. What are you doing, babe? Just packing. Where are you off to? On a business trip. Oh. What are we gonna do without ya? I don't know, you've been uh, working on it. Yeah, you're putting my uh, newly developed domestic skills to the test, aren't ya? Yep, all that <laughs> cooking and doing laundry. I think I'll be all right, don't you? I hope so. I think the kids will, will yeah, that'll keep you in line. still 
be happy and healthy when you get back? Oh yeah, they'll let me know if you're not though. Oh, they sure, for sure will, won't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Talina is leaving us tomorrow. She's going on a week long trip. So we got to drive up to Atlanta tomorrow in the morning, bright and early to drop her off at the airport. So that'll be fun. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving at seven in the morning. Yeah. But, um, so be sure to check back tomorrow, find out where Talene is going and then find out, um, join us for the rest of the week. The kids and I find out how we do if we survive. First time with the kids, both the kids by yourself for a week. You've always done like weekend trips, but you've never done seven days. I haven't. So that will be new. It'll be fun. I'm excited. We'll have fun together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks for stopping by, joining us at the, uh, Lunatic Asylum today. That was fun to see. Yeah, it was. And, um, like I said, check back tomorrow and take a good one and we'll see you then. Bye.